Last month, we fell in love with an incredibly incredible elementary school in South Central Los Angeles. Take a look. Hi, my name is Brooke Jackson. I'm the principal at Center for Advanced Learning. Most of our students here at our school, 98%, are Title I, which means that the families live below the poverty line. Even though our students come from a challenging neighborhood, they know that when they come to school here at Cal, it is a safe place to be. They are greeted and loved and encouraged to be the best versions of themselves possible. I wanted to teach in an environment where kids really needed me. Kids who really needed somebody to believe in them, to really genuinely care about them, and to push them beyond what they ever imagined. They have the highest scores. Yes. yes. The yes. highest scores. Yes. Yes. Well, we couldn't get all of them here, but there's about 40 of them here. You want to see them? Please welcome back Brooke, Johanna, and some of the students from the Center for Advanced Learning. So, I want to know what the bus ride home after that day was. They were so excited. Oh my goodness, they talked about it all the way back. All after we got after they got back to school, parents were calling each other. Kids were so excited, and then the very next day, oh my goodness, the very next day we had a an assembly where we brought all of the kids together. Parents were there and told them all about our experience, and they the the rest of the kids were so excited. Oh my goodness, Ellen, it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it was it's such an honor to that our school, our small school, in a school of many, it put, we, has been recognized for the work that we do. The, 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 these babies that we that we teach day in and day out, that we see these smiling faces. They come into the office and they watch the video. We have it on loop in the video. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, I, I, it is. Thank you. Because these kids deserve everything that you're giving them. I, I know that you understand it now, but when you get older, you're really going to understand what these women have done for you and what they're doing for you. And I hope anybody out there watching that can send in money and help contribute and donate to the school can will do that because what you're doing is amazing. Thank, thank you. you. And, and I, I think that... Thank you. And this is... As you explained, that these are, are families that really basically have nothing. Yes. And what you're doing right now is you have a toy drive. Yes. yes. You have to tell this because this is amazing to yes. me. So every year, our, 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 our families get together. This is the fourth year that we've been doing this. And we, we asked our families to donate. And most of our families don't have much to donate from, but it doesn't matter. They still give as much as they can. They donate toys. And we have this huge box that's in our office in the corner. And parents just drop off toys. And at the end of uh, next week, we'll be passing out toys to our students. Unfortunately, this year, our, to the, our box has not been filled as quickly as, as, as in past years. But we know that we will get what we need to, su to supply our students so that they can each have a gift on Christmas morning. It's amazing to me that the families that, you know, they don't have to give anything, yeah, no. but they come in and try to give something even though they don't have enough to give. It's, it's a beautiful story. Yeah. Um, our friends at Walmart, uh, they have been partnering with us this year because earlier uh, this season they helped us with flood relief efforts in Louisiana, and they were amazing with that. And when they heard your story, they wanted to help give the students all the tools they need to succeed. And not only is everyone in the school getting a toy, but every student and teacher at Cal are also getting an all-new HP laptop computer. <laughs>